Good morning and welcome to Australia. This is not one of my Let's Play videos. This is a video where I'm taking my other character down into the level two of the mines. So I've spent a couple of in-game days prepping. I gathered up 30 keys. I preemptively went to the bank yesterday and put all my money in the bank. All right, let's see how to use this thing. Yes. So I did that and I still need a mine pass. And I hope that takes us to the right floor. We'll hop out and eat a sausage roll. See what that does for me. That looks pretty good. Oh, let me put my mining helmet on. There we go. Okay. Looks like we've got a couple of glowing plants. The glowing bugs from the upper floor. something happening over there. Oh, okay. These glow wormy things. They look pretty easy to kill. Ooh, look at this guy. Okay, so even he goes down pretty easily with a uh, iron spear. I kind of think that the shovel might be better for these guys. Let's see. Okay, I was really busy looking at the map. Okay, so that's just iron. Uh, what's this? A vine. Yeah, so the shovel does some really cool damage. Okay, so here are the lily pads, and I brought a scythe with me. Because I definitely want to grab some of these. So I can't shovel down here. How do I, how do I get these? Oops. I wonder if I time it just right. Oh, what's this? Why are you moving? <laughs> Maybe the scythe wasn't what you need to use for these. Let's see. Spear doesn't look to be doing anything. Okay, let me look at the map. I'm going to cross this 
the river. Now I'll actually maybe I'll walk up along the edge of this river and see if it leads me to a treasure room. That looks like it's just more iron. Yeah. Oh, here's a room. Got a lot going on out here. Let's see. Okay, so it looks like we've got an emerald. I'm going to drop that for a second because we can also pick up these lanterns and these rock paths, uh, moss path. I just want to grab a couple of those in case they look cool. And I want to decorate with them upstairs. And looks like we got another room here. Oh, geez. That just leads out back. So I just wasted a couple of keys. Uh, while I'm in here, let me replenish my health a little bit. Do a sausage roll. And I'm going to run this back to the exit. Okay, so I'm just going to head due north till we hit the river again, I guess. And then turn and see where it leads us. I'll grab a couple of these just for fun while there's no enemies around. Oops. See what we got over here. It's almost like there should be something here because of the lanterns. Let's see. No, huh? the river. What have we got here? Let's see what he left. A tongue and bone. Wow, this battle shovel really does a job on those guys. It really looks like this should be leading somewhere. Okay, let's go back to the river. Here's another room. Oops. Face 
face the right direction. Okay, so that looks like two openings. Let me run around the other side. That also looks like two openings. So I guess there's two ways in for these rooms. So note to self, don't open the back door anymore. Okay, looks like another emerald. Uh, why is that enemy music going? Oh. Okay, so sometimes those guys just give bones and other times... Oops. Other times you'll get a tongue. Um, I wonder... Yeah, I'm going to turn those into shards so that I don't have to run around carrying it over my head. So I'd really like to find a room with a chest and see what kind of new loot and goodies we can get here. Okay, so... One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know how many of those were panic thrusts, but uh, looks like it might take six hits with an iron spear to bring those guys down, but only two hits with the battle shovel. So definitely the battle shovel for those guys. Uh, let me equip that. One. Oop. Oh. Oh dear. <laughs> oh my. Okay, I was not watching my health. Darn it. Okay. Get a bite of sausage roll. And some croco meat. Looks like we still need a little bit of energy, so when my belly empties a wee bit, we'll eat some bananas. Alright, so let's look at the map and see how much. Oop! <laughs> Okay, so what did I want to... I wanted to see if the metal detector would work here, but it doesn't seem to be. But that did remind me of something. It did remind me that there is marble down here. Uh, it's not very noticeable. It doesn't stand out unless you're really looking for it. So I'm going to start looking for that. And I'm going to head west for a while. Using my chainsaw on some of these trees to create a path. Doesn't look like it uh, leaves anything behind the way that the stone pillars do. Nice. 
Oh, here's another room. Okay, I'm gonna chainsaw my way through here. see some grubs in there and I didn't have a chainsaw before until today um, I only had Franklin make it for me a few days ago and I'm noticing that it's not lasting very long okay let's get in here So they left behind some grub meat. Oh, that's just leading outside, it looks like. What the heck? Oh, maybe not. Okay, anything in this room? No? Looks like I gotta use another key. Oops. Okay. We've got a treasure chest. It is kind of interesting and not unexpected, I suppose, that on this level of the mine, when you're in the room, you're, you're never really safe. In the regular levels of the mine, I've noticed that once you're in the room, you're pretty much safe. There's the occasional room that has uh, a bush devil in there or something, but here, Every room seems to, to have something in it. Okay, so we've got a stone wand. And you know what? I'm going to grab that wooden chest too. Um, so is that... It looks like another room, but is it a door leading outside... Oops. I'm wondering if it actually leads to another treasure building. Uh, get around this corner. Maybe not. Okay. Crazy the trouble I'm going through so as not to waste any keys. Uh, those keys are so precious. It takes me a while to find them. Okay, so we've got... Yeah, that looks like it's just the outside again. Okay. Since these stack, I'm going to take a couple more of these stone lanterns. I might want to do something with them up above ground. Okay, so my light has gone out. I'll switch that. I'm going to 
and eat this. Yeah, It'll give me a nice health boost. And, oh, that's the tongue. Don't want that. Does it say? Gross long tongue. Okay, so let me not waste any more time. Let me run outside and keep exploring. Oh, my battle shovel is nearly dead. Okay, let me throw that up here to preserve that. And I'll bring the other iron spear down. Okay, and we're continuing west. Uh... Here we have another room. Can't find the enemy that that music is alerting me to, so I will just ignore it. Again, I'm going to smash this. Oh, I wonder? No, the bat sapper does not work on those guys. Okay. see what we got going on over here. These little rooms, it's kind of hard to see what I'm doing. I can't really uh, get the camera to come back enough to get a good view. I'm just kind of blindly <laughs> thrashing about here. And I see that my health is low, so as soon as I get this guy, I'm gonna eat. Okay, three more keys. That goes outside. Try this. Emerald. Is that everybody? Nope. Yes, it was. Okay. I really can't tell, so I'm just gonna use the key. Yeah, it looks like this might have been outside. Okay, uh, let's try this one. That looks like another emerald room. No enemies. I'm going to destroy this one and maybe pick this one up. I do want to at least have one to see how much it costs. Now let me check quickly for... Wow. There are other rooms.
please don't be outside. It's not, but it's also not a treasure room. And that one definitely looks like it just goes outside. I can maybe run around the corner to confirm that. Yeah, okay. Um, here's something new. What's this? Bird of Paradise. Oh, I love those. Okay, so... What's that? Oh, that was just the glowing through the vines. Okay, so I see the river. Let me take a look at the map. Okay, so it looks like I turn right and maybe follow the river. It'll lead me right back to the mine entrance. I've got a little more over an hour before the mine starts hurting me. I really want to find out how to get these lily pads. Oh boy. <laughs> oh no. like he stopped coming after me. Swim very slowly when holding the uh, emerald. Okay, I can't resist getting another couple birds of paradise here. Okay, so that was my first time experiencing the, the mines, and uh, you did that right along with me. I didn't go in and, and check first and learn how to do things before I showed you, so I hope you all uh, appreciate it and have a little bit of uh, sympathy for me for not knowing what I'm doing a lot of the time. Can't resist trying to get this one last guy. Okay, it's officially late and the mine is officially hurting me. So, up we go. Looks like I'm poisoned. See the little green stuff coming off me? But it's gone away already, so that's good. So I'll just throw these, oh, excuse me, uh, I am not in the mood for you right now, uh, apparently I forgot how to jump. Good thing I brought up two emeralds, because while fighting that alligator, I accidentally destroyed my little emerald thing. Okay, let me get the other one. And I'll place it down outside John's shop. And I'm just going to go home and go to sleep. And then bring you guys with me when I see how much that emerald is worth.
Okay, that's cool. So Sheila is visiting, so I can take you guys to meet her too if you haven't seen anybody meet her yet. Okay, 4.4 kilograms, 85,725 dinks. That's pretty good. Okay, now let's go meet Sheila. So I think, yeah, I have met her previously, so she's not gonna, gonna act like she's never met me before. Um, oh, she's paying top dink for lime jam. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna run back to the house and grab that. Okay, so I can buy sugar for 1680. And we can use the cooking table, and looks like she's got some green beans here. So first I'm going to go to John and see how much he'll give me. And then I'm going to sell it to Sheila. So John would offer us thirty-five sixty-five. So John was thirty-five sixty-five, and Sheila is selling it for eighty-nine twelve. Wow. If you need money, it's definitely worth it. Although it is time intensive. It does take almost a full day to create those from the uh, Billy kit that I can never, ever remember the name of. All right, well, thanks for going with me to the mines for the first time and uh, meeting Sheila and stuff. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate you being here. And please like and subscribe if you want to follow my regular Let's Play Dinkum Adventure. Or if you'd like to see more Bloom and Spring updates, I will be going down in the mines again with this character, which is not my Let's Play character. And in case you missed my explanation in the first video, uh, my Let's Play character doesn't have enough permit points or and uh, mid-game weapons and stuff to be prepared to go down into the mines yet so rather than wait I figured I'd just show you the update with this character okay thanks for watching take care bye bye